It is a foundation that grants wishes. You want to see a movie star, you want to go over here, you want to do something great in your life, and they sponsor it and they pay for it to terminally ill children. And guess who got a call about eight years ago? We did. Man, I was so excited. I never forget it. I got in the car and I drove to Dallas to this big hospital that wanted to see us. One of the other power team guys showed up there. We went up and we had these little, we had these little wagons and these little bouncy balls. They were kind of heavy though because we were playing dodgeball with the kids and we hit them and knocked them down. I'm like, oh man, we gotta watch out on that one. <laughs> these kids were terminally ill with cancer. You know, chemotherapy has come a long way, ladies and gentlemen, in the last eight years, amen. And you see, we would load these kids up and we would play with them all day. They wanted to see us. We'd be running down the hall and a charge nurse would come out and say, you can't run. I'd be, yes, ma'am. She'd walk on. We'd take off again. Man, we had a great time with these students. About 4 o'clock in the day, the lady came up to me, one of the nurses, and she looked at me and she said, Josh, I wasn't a Christian until this happened. Oh, man, somebody tell you something like that, you know you're fixing to get a testimony, praise the Lord. And I love a good testimony. I love listening to what God has done in somebody's life. Hey, they can argue with your theology, but they can't argue with your testimony, amen. Yeah, yeah. Man, I tell you what, I said, man, what is it? What happened? She said, can you come up on the top floor of the hospital with me? I said, yes, man, we can do that. She said, uh, well, come check this out. We got in an elevator and we went up to the top floor. And there, were, there were multiple floors on this. And I can't really remember the, what, the, what the top floor was. But when we got out, we walked into a room and they made us put these things called scrubs on. And we put these scrubs on and we stepped into the room and it was about twice the size of this room right here. And it was huge. It was amazing. I've never seen nothing like it before in my life. They had these, these plexiglass boxes everywhere. And, and they had these tubes coming out of them and glowing lights. And, and I mean, it was something out of a science fiction movie. And we started to walk by one of these plexiglass boxes. And I realized what I had just stepped into. And this nurse turns and looks at me and says, Josh, you have just stepped into the largest neonatal intensive care unit in the United States. We're talking about babies that were, dead, that were born addicted to crack cocaine. We're talking about little babies that were born with HIV, AIDS, terminal illnesses. Some of them, they fit, barely fit in the palm of your hand. You wouldn't even know that they were human. 